Disney is changing forever. Last night at D23 at the Experiences Showcase, we got so much amazing news from a new Villains Land at Magic Kingdom, to new Avengers rides, a Monsters Inc. Land at Hollywood Studios, and so much more. We're gonna be focusing on what is coming here to Walt Disney World, and we're gonna go ahead and get started with what we can expect next year in 2025. So if we look at what is coming ahead, the first thing that I am really excited about is going to be a new nighttime parade coming to a Magic Kingdom. I am so excited for a new nighttime parade. The last one we had was the Main Street Electrical Parade, which was the first parade Estella and I actually saw together. And we have so many amazing memories of it. And we've been saying we need a new one for so long now. So as you can see, this is going to feature characters from Encanto. And what we know so far is it's going to be led by the Blue Fairy. We'll also have other characters like Peter Pan and Wendy. You can see Elsa here in the background. And this will be coming to the Magic Kingdom in the summer of 2025. So we don't have to wait too long for it and we cannot wait to check it out and share it with you the day that it comes. As far as attractions, in 2025, we will be getting the reimagined version of Test Track. Now this is something we already knew was coming and coming next year, but having that confirmation was really nice. If you look at the outside of the show building, it looks absolutely beautiful. I love this kind of modern design and kind of a retro look of what Test Track used to be. Up here in this window area, there's going to be something special up there that we will get to shortly. And we have the same concept art down here at the bottom that was released when they said Test Track was going to be reimagined. However, Disney did announce in their blog a few new details. Disney stated the queue will feature six distinct exhibits and within each room celebrate the vehicles and people behind the vehicles that push the envelope and help get people to our next chapter in our motion journey. So that's going to be a really cool queue area that I cannot wait to check out. As far as show scenes, they're going to be adding and showcasing technological advances and how our lifestyles and relationships to mobility connect to everyone. Enjoy a ride through scenes focusing on onboard technology, customization, and personalization, followed by a trip through a scenic outdoor route, reminding us of all the joys of driving, taking in the world around us, and spending quality time with friends and family. I love this. I have always been a huge fan of Test Track, but the new version of it was never my cup of tea, really. So when I heard they were reimagining it, I was really excited. The original was so much fun, and this kind of sounds like it's going to get back to its roots a little bit, but be a little bit more of a modern journey. And I don't know about you guys, but I love driving and thinking about just like going through the wilderness and outdoors and kind of feeling like you're on like a road trip sounds like a, a wonderful change coming to this ride. So far, we have a new nighttime parade coming next year. Test Track is opening, which is going to be absolutely wonderful. And remember I talked about that window kind of area at the top of Test Track, right? So next year, we're actually getting two new lounges coming to Walt Disney World. So one of them is one we already knew about, and that is going to be the pirate-themed lounge over where Tortuga Tavern currently is. They put some new art out, and this looks absolutely wonderful. I cannot wait to hop in there, grab some snacks or a drink, and just enjoy the atmosphere. I'm hoping we get some, like, I don't know, a random, like, pirate characters that would walk through. That would be really cool. I know I have, like, really high expectations for that right now, but how awesome would that be? Um, so that will be coming. And then we are also getting an Epcot, a new lounge inspired by Spaceship Earth. And this is going to be, I believe, in that lounge area that's currently above Test Track right now. So if you look in the concept art here, you can see the window, which looks out into the new World Showcase kind of center area with the new planner. You can see the fireworks going off and Spaceship Earth will be back there as well. So you can watch the light show on it. And this is all going to be themed after Spaceship Earth. So a bunch of geometric patterns you can see in the lights here. 
There are spheres just like Spaceship Earth itself. It's very modern and beautiful and sleek inside. I think this is going to be a really fun spot to grab a cocktail, maybe try to get a seat and enjoy a fireworks show from here or the lights and just relax and have so much fun. So again, both of these lounges will be opening in 2025, so a lot to look forward to next year. And for our last announcement for 2025, we are getting the Zootopia show opening an animal kingdom inside the Tree of Life, which is replacing A Bug's Life. I'm very excited for this. A Bug's Life is kind of controversial. Some people say it's like super scary for kids. I haven't done it yet because I don't like bugs or spiders, so I'm afraid I'm just going to have a heart attack. <laughs> so Zootopia will be a nice change, and it'll be cool to see modern technology and a just a brand new story and IP within Animal Kingdom. And that is everything we will be getting here at Walt Disney World in 2025. So many amazing things to look forward starting in the summer of next year. Now, in 2026, we will be getting maybe my personal favorite announcement outside of the major ones, and that is a new addition to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. We will be getting a new mission featuring the Mandalorian and Grogu, and this will be launching around the time the Mandalorian and Grogu film comes out in 2026. Um, as you can see in the artwork here, we're going to get to fly next to Mando and Grogu. We have ties. We're going to be visiting new planets. It's going to be amazing, and I absolutely cannot wait. This is something I've been hoping they do with this ride for so long. Basically, it's used with the Unreal Engine, which is created by Epic Games. So in a video game, you can go on so many different missions, and this ride always seemed like it should have that. So to have the original mission for Hondo and now to be able to have the Mandalorian, Mandalorian and Grogu is going to be absolutely amazing. And I hope this opens the doors to more and more scenes being added to this attraction. Now we're going to get to the exciting and spicy stuff. 2025 is taken care of. We're getting Mando and Grogu in 2026. And in 2027, right around the corner, we are finally getting the Tropical Americas expansion at Animal Kingdom. This has been rumored for a while, and finally it has been solidified, and we are getting Pueblo Esperanza over where Dino Land used to be. This place is going to feel lived in and beautiful. It's going to have two attractions and so many more things within it. So let's go ahead and break this down and take a little look. So right here we have the entrance where it used to go into Dino Land. If you look here, you see some shops and streets on the side. So I find this a little interesting. So if we look at the artwork here at the top, here we typically have the rivers of America. And here on the right side, I see a little water, but to the left, we have the carousel attraction. So I'm thinking some of this is going to be filled in, and then we're gonna have some shopping on the entry here. Leading in, we are going to have a beautiful fountain with trees, and our very first attraction will be there, which is going to be a carousel. This thing is going to be so cool. It is going to feature animals from all across the Disney world. So they already showed the very first um, carousel animal creature they are creating, which is Kevin from Up. And you're going to be able to ride other animals out of your favorite Disney movies. I'm really hoping for like a Simba or a Scar. That would be super fun. Um, the first attraction is officially going to be Indiana Jones. Now, this is going to be really cool because I thought it was going to be basically a copy and paste from what they have over in Disneyland, California. But we're actually getting a whole new storyline here. So we are going to have the same vehicle system as Dinosaur, which is the same exact vehicle and track that's over in California. However, we're going to be following Indy on a brand new story. He has basically discovered a Maya temple, and it's rumored inside there is a mythical creature that he needs to go and find and explore this temple, and he'll be bringing us along. So that's going to be so fun, and I love the indie franchise and cannot wait to help Dr. Jones on his next adventure. 
And the very first Encanto attraction will be coming to this area in Animal Kingdom. This one I am super excited for. It seems like it's going to be a boat ride through Casita. So we're actually getting Casita in Animal Kingdom. It's gonna look and act just like it out of the film. And we will be following Antonio basically through the house. We'll be visiting the other rooms of the house and ending in basically a jungle area just like Antonio's room where there will be animals. Here you can see these cute like looking capybaras, birds, the whole magical family is there. Antonio with his tiger. I cannot wait to see just the tech they put into this with the new um, animatronic technology screens, lights. I think this ride is going to be literally out of this world and I am so looking forward to it. Look how beautiful this looks. Um, construction is starting on this very, very soon this fall um, with an opening date, like I mentioned, in 2027. Um, you'll still be able to hop onto Dinosaur if you are looking to ride that for a little bit longer. So get those rides in, save those dinos, and very soon we will be helping Indy and hanging out with the Encanto family. Now this next announcement was something I was not expecting at all. We are getting a Monsters Inc. land in Disney's Hollywood Studios. This is going to be absolutely cool. It will feature the first suspended roller coaster in Walt Disney World, or Disney in general, actually. And what is going to be is you are in the Monsters, Inc. factory. You are zipping through. There's going to be doors that actually are pulled up just like the movies. So you will get to experience that fantasy I think we've all had since seeing that movie of what it's like to go through a door or through the factory in the Monsters, Inc. lab. Now, this land is going to be in Monstropolis and basically takes place after the film. So humans are living and being able to visit in the monster world and they need laughs to power everything. So that'll be really cool to see how they incorporate that into the land. Um, I wonder if they're going to have like a laugh canisters you can walk by. Maybe incorporate a Magic Band Plus into the land. That might be kind of cool, Disney. Um, so we will have that. Um, I'm sure we'll get to visit Sully there. He's already a character we can meet, so meeting him there makes sense. And it would be really cool to see Mike Wazowski. That would be really awesome to introduce that meet and greet. And the art for the world looks really cool. So you have the Monsters Fa Inc. factory back here, um, buildings. This is rumored to be taking place um, where New York is right now. So where um, the Muppet Vision ride is and all of that back there. And leading around into where um, the Star Tours ride is, which is kind of sad. I don't want to see that go, but if it means a whole new Monsters, Inc. land, I am totally cool with that. This is a land I am blown away by. I can't believe we're getting a whole new land in Hollywood Studios. We haven't had one since Toy Story Land opened in 2017, I think it was. So it's been a while. Um, let me know if you guys are looking forward to this. Did you expect it? Like, drop a comment below. Next up, we're going to head over to Magic Kingdom and talk about a new area coming to Frontierland. And that is going to feature the Pixar film Cars. This area looks so cool. I cannot wait to ride this new attraction, which is going to be a brand new Cars ride. So at first we thought we were going to be getting Radiator Springs Racers, but here we're going to be getting a brand new attraction for the Magic Kingdom that is going to follow rally cars and you'll be racing through the mountains and off-roading and just enjoying an awesome adventure. I'm wondering if this is going to use the same track system that's already in California just to save time and money on production since that's already built. But either way, I cannot wait. This concept art looks absolutely beautiful. The cars look awesome. I love the kind of off-road looking rally car, the mountain ranges and waterfalls and tree structures. You can see kind of a snowy mountain down here as well making me think we're going to be going through different um, elements and environments. So that'll be really neat. And then they're also going to be building in the Frontierland area 
a attraction for smaller kids. Um, they didn't announce too much of what that ride is going to be. I'm wondering if it's going to be what's in other attractions where it's like the Mater car that's kind of similar to Alien Swirling Saucer or something completely different that they're going to bring here just for Disney World. But this is super exciting and I can't wait to see just Frontierland continue to grow and evolve. If two new lands weren't already enough, we are getting a third land at Walt Disney World and that is the Villains Land we have all been waiting for an announcement. And it is finally confirmed, Villains Land is coming to Magic Kingdom and I cannot wait. This artwork is absolutely stunning. The kind of protruding and pointy rocks are crazy. We have two castles, it looks like, in here. One high up on a hill, one a little further down. Maybe we'll be able to get to go in there. Um, it could be an attraction that might be kind of cool. If we look in the back left, we have a fire breathing dragon. I assume this is Maleficent breathing some green fire. I hope that means we get a literal dragon breathing fire there, a la the dragon in Gringotts over at Universal Studios. That would be really cool. Um, this world has so many possibilities. It is insane. I'd love to see like a scar area. I think that would be very fitting here with some of his hyenas. Um, there's just so much. Character meet and greets could be amazing here. Villains is one thing I have wanted for so long at Magic Kingdom. It's all about the princes and princesses and I just want some evilness in my Magic Kingdom and I cannot wait for this. The space is going to feature two major attractions, which is going to be amazing. Um, again, I think one of them is going to be in this castle building. And then in the back left here, it kind of looks like a little bit of a broken coaster track. I don't know. What do you guys think? So two attractions, which is awesome. Um, it's going to have dining, shopping on an incredibly twisted grand scale. So this area is going to be huge. They've stated, I believe it is the largest expansion they've created in a Disney park ever. So I cannot wait to see what that means and to just explore everything this land or world is going to give us. This is going to take place, I'm assuming, back by Tom Sawyer Island and back in that area from concepts we've gotten in rumors in the past. Um, I'll be sad to see Tom Sawyer, Sawyer Island go, but if this is coming, I will gladly again take that trade. Let me know if you guys are looking forward to a villain's land at Magic Kingdom and all of these additions that are coming to Walt Disney World. Right now is such an amazing time to be a Disney fan all across the world, but especially here at Walt Disney World. We're getting so much over the next several years to look forward to and in the a little further out future, this land. If you all enjoyed this video and checking out the updates, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join Falcon Squadron and hang out with us over at the Walt Disney World Parks. We go every week, twice a week usually, and come check out some of the villains that came to this year's Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party with us on the video on the side. I'll see you there.